You're watching a take on the set. The actor delivers a performance and you immediately recognize something isn't working. Maybe the performance needs more desperation or anger. Maybe anger is what's missing. So you go to the actor who's waiting for feedback and what do you say? An inexperienced director might tell them exactly what they want. I need this to be more angry. I need this to be more desperate. Slate 99, take 49, clappers on end. And darling, just this once, will you please make an effort to forget that you're stunning and just try to look stunned? One kind word and I would be. We almost had it. But this time, not quite so daintily. You're starving. I know. But it's hard to be hungry after 46 takes. Oh, just a moment. That is the way an ice man would enter the house. Not merely Joe. Shyly, please. This is called result-oriented direction. In Judith Weston's book, Directing Actors, result direction is defined as direction that attempts to shape the actor's performance by describing the result you are after. The reason why this is so undesirable is because of the nature of what a performer does when they act out a scene. Most performers are trying to exist in a truthful sense. They're not thinking externally about how their behavior or embodiment of a scene's emotions will read on camera. They are thinking in terms of objectives, subtext, and in terms of a genuine emotional reaction to what they're experiencing. So when you approach an actor and offer them a result-oriented suggestion, what you're really asking the actor to do is to reverse engineer what they're actually doing in the scene and find a way to externalize what they think you mean when you use a word like anger or sadness. All of this essentially serves to make the actor more self-conscious, more analytical of the performance as they are giving it and less in the moment. So what are some alternative strategies for working with actors? If you take result-oriented direction off the table, the actual craft of finding a way to help a performer reach the full potential of what the scene offers their character becomes much more apparent and exciting. When you watch a scene and identify the result you think you want, you need to now find a way to offer the actor playable direction, something that they, while still embodying the character, can do. There are many strategies for this, but one simple approach that Weston outlines in her book is to give the actor a new objective. If, for example, your goal is to get a performance charged with more anger, perhaps the way to do so is to give the actor an objective that will increase the tension between the two characters, such as wound them the way that they wounded you, or this time I want you to really attack them. Every performer is different, and you have to keep an active dialogue with your actor to better understand what they need. Some actors actually prefer result-oriented direction, while others may think they benefit from it when in fact it damages the spontaneity of the performance. All right, let's try this. Your line, just say it as I say it. Say your line exactly as I'm about to, just as I'm about to do. Sure, okay. Would that it were so simple? 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 My dear boy, why do you say that? Why do you say it were? Well, you should say it like I said it. Y yes. Would that it were so simple? Would that it were so simple? Would that it were so simple? Would that it would that it were so simple? Watch, watch my mouth. Would that it were so simple? Would that it were so simple? Keep your head still. Would that it were so simple? Would that it were so simple? Would that it were so simple? I'm trying to say that, Mr. Lawrence. Lawrence. Hmm. As a director, it's very important to remember that we are not engineers constructing a bridge. We're conductors leading a diverse group of musicians, each possessing their own voice, style, and artistic sense. If you enter into the direction of a scene, believing that your abstract idea of the performance is superior to what the actors bring to their characters, you will miss out on the journey of mutual discovery and rich collaboration that makes directing performers a craft. By making an effort to reduce result-oriented direction and think more from the actor's perspective, when constructing your feedback. You can take a meaningful step in discovering what feels right in the performance and ultimately the story you're trying to tell together.